Students, faculty, and artists around the United States endured the chilly weather to celebrate the 25th anniversary of the Briarcliff Review Thursday, April 18th at the Sioux City Art Center. Trisha Curran Sheehan, the professor of English and Writing and the originator of the Briarcliff Review, collaborated with the Art Center to host an exhibition. In the last probably four years, we have done a collaborative event, and that means the Art Center gives us a real gallery, and all the art is displayed there as part of their regular programming. So all the art in this magazine um, was in uh, a gallery, well, really three galleries upstairs. The gallery included various types of art, sculptures, and photos, which were printed in the magazine. A couple of the artists went up to their works and talked about it, and then we went downstairs to the auditorium and we had a reading of some of the works in the magazine. The written works included poetry, fiction, and nonfiction, which were read by both the writers and the editors. The trust you never had and the love I never knew became one bright spark of dying iridescent blue. Morning is a house of gold glass, a fire held against clapboard and mullion, casting certain shadows on the wall. Karen Sheehan says she has enjoyed seeing the Briarcliff Review evolve over the years and tries to make each issue better than the year before. I've seen it grow from this little in-house publication done in our print shop to this type of magazine. But it truly is a collaborative event and I always tell the editors we all work together and we're always trying to make it a little bit better than last year. I'm a perfectionist and of course I want it to be perfect and it's never going to be perfect but I feel like we're getting closer. For Cliff News Net, I'm Chris Braunschweig.